In this training tutorial, we'll give an overview how to add hydraulic features in T-Navigator. We'll add hydraulic features on vertical well and multi-stage fractures on horizontal well. First of all, a bit of theory. Hydraulic fracture in T-Navigator is simulated as a plane, a rectangle. We define connections that are fractured, azimuth angle, half length in both sides, and width. In each grid block, where this rectangle intersects grid, a new vertical connection is created. So fracture produces fluid as a set of virtual connections. If we have additional data, such as propent permeability, we can add it to our model. This permeability is used to calculate how produced fluid is moved from virtual connection to the well bore. And if we don't specify propent permeability, then it is considered an infinite. So the fluid goes immediately from fracture to the well bore. Also, we may have an observation from our theory about propent washing out time. The time that hydraulic fracture works effectively. It can be one year, two years, and others. This period and the dynamics of well liquid rate decreasing, we can simulate with a flow function. Let's start to add hydraulic fracture to T-Navigator. We open the model and go to Properties. Propens. Press green plus to add a table of propent permeability versus pressure. Now we can edit the values in the table. This permeability is used to calculate how produced fluid is moved from fracture to the well bore. Then go to flow function to define a function of propent washing out. Press green plus to add a new function. As a zero point, we can enter a number of days when fracture stops working effectively. Let's use one year, 365 days, and press OK. Now this function is linear. We can define another one, exponential, to simulate more realistic decreasing of oil production with time. Press add again and change type from linear to exponential. Move a slider to change curvature. Now we're ready to add fractures on our wells. Go to Maps, 3D Maps, move the time slider to the time step when we plan to add a fracture. Right mouse click on the vertical well and select Edit Well. Use Ctrl plus A to select all connections. Now the button Generate Fractures is active. Switch type from Automatic to Manual. In this dialog, we need to enter all parameters of the fracture. Enter azimuth angle, half length in both sides. For default, we can see in length boxes the size of the grid blocks. Enter width. Then check the box permeability to use propent properties and flow function. Now we should change phase from liquid to time because we defined propent washing out effects in days. And we can see that frac is made on all connections. Press Save. To see this fracture, we can uncheck, show mesh, and move time slider to the next time step. Fracture is visualized as a yellow plane. Now let's add multi-stage fracs on horizontal well. Select the connection and press Generate Fractures. Define its parameters. Add also height, value up and down from specified connection, and press Save and do the same on the other connections. Uncheck Show Mesh and move Time Slider to the next time step to see multi-stage frac on horizontal well. Now we run simulation. And we see that hydraulic fractures appear at time step when we made them. And there's a message in the log about number of virtual connections created. Check streamlines to see that the whole fracture is working. Streamlines go to virtual connections as well. Go to graphs, rates and see the jump of the oil rate due to fracture on this well. 
Then oil rate decreases according to the flow function that we used. For one well, linear. For another, exponential. Press on the triangle near well to see the list of connections. Connections and virtual connections. Connections without asterisk are usual wells connections. Connections with asterisk are virtual, and we can see graphs for each virtual connection. Fractures are saved automatically in the file in User folder. The keyword WFRAPC contains all fracture parameters. Now we can edit it manually if we want to. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy working with T-Navigator and see other training tutorials for more details.